Islam, Armageddon is called the hour. A lot of Arabic terms are used in the Quran and in the Prophet's words and in Muslim traditions. Not necessarily Armageddon, but the end of the world. It's kind of hard to know what exactly is being referred to because I think almost anyone can take a sign and say, I, I see that happening right now, so it must mean that we're about five minutes away from the end of the world. And one of the greater signs of the ending of the world is the appearance of the Mahdi or the rightly guided one, the appearance of the Antichrist, the false messiah, and then the descent to Damascus of Jesus who is the actual messiah. The Muslim belief is that before his emergence he will be waited for eagerly because the world will be in a very bad shape. So Jesus will return in Damascus and he will slay the Antichrist and will initiate a period of perfect harmony. After the death of Jesus, who then dies a natural death in the world, there is a subsequent period of decay, which then leads directly into the hour, the ending of the world. In the Muslim belief, there are three trumpets that are blown by the Archangel Raphael. With the first trumpet, which comes well after the return of Jesus to the earth, a breeze blows and reaches all over the planet. And anyone with any shred of belief, shall we say, or, or aspect of belief in the truth is taken peacefully from the world. And then when the second trumpet is blasted, everything in the world, in the Muslim tradition, except for God, is destroyed. After that, God recreates the Archangel Raphael, who blows the trumpet a third time, and the entire world is recreated, and all bodies are reassembled, and people are gathered for the judgment. So, who's good, who's evil? The, the Muslim response generally was simply that one should pray that when that breeze blows, one is in the group of people that is taken gently, uh, as opposed to those who have to wait till the, the end of all things and experience the terror that is the end of the world.